I don't know if we have to do the approach again, um, but I did forget that we get brought back here every time. Um, oh. You load the game. <laughs> Oh, does we go <laughs> important oh, so while we're waiting we could go uh terrorize um what who are we terrorizing oh oh no mayday and Sook? what are you two doing here that's not the welcome I expected. Come on, May. Knock knock. Who's there? It's your friendly neighborhood guitarist. I'm not too sure about the friendly part, especially after what happened at Akasuka. Shoot! All right, all right. <laughs> Can you also talk to her, Zook? Oh, Hi. hello, everyone. Ingenious. It's a different take from home. Indeed, indeed. I keep forgetting it has auto. Leave this to me. I don't know if there's anything different. I think it's just Mayday. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not too sure. Shoot. All right, all right. You two. Ah, Mayday and Zook. Greeting. Oh, you are this is great character design. Music journalist. Ah. Don't worry, I'm on break now. <laughs> Love your look. Oh, hey, Thread! Yeah, yeah, big agree. The 2D, 3D use in this game yeah, is great. It's... Oh, you know what? If you want to go poke stuff in the different areas of this would be a great time to do that, actually. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Oh, you were you're already on yeah. top of it. Okay. Can I change all of this? Yes. Perfect. Show me the poster. <laughs> what? What are you doing here, DK West? <laughs> Listen, he got back into the city. Um, immediately got graffiti of himself. Oh, thank goodness! Like this is something that kind of amuses me is the fact that um, like all the stuff we're fixing in areas are still kind of like promoting the original people yeah, in each yeah. area. Like, oh yeah, we can also have this gigantic television screen of Sayu. It's all good. Alright. Classic milk. Classic milk? None of that newfangled stuff. Also, some plants. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, I guess. Sayu is also here. Ooh. 
Oh, our thing is, uh, we can do more transforming. Yeah. More of the... Okay, is that because you powered up? Mm hmm Eve, hello! Welcome! <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, Lil Zuka was just geeking out. Soil! Good old soil shop! <laughs> I don't know if you say anything ah, different. Ingenious. No. It's a different take from home. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> soil shop by worms for worms. Oh, you again. For us lately. A lot of malfunctioning, or rather, destroyed installations around the city, it seems. I wonder who is behind them. Oh well, time to get to work. <laughs> Definitely no one you know, it's fine, don't worry about it. Oh, hey Tatiana! I love you. Hardly hear you, Tatiana. Okay, let's see if it lets me... Okay, yes. Cool. All right, so we can just go for it. Yeah. Let's go! Hijack concert! You know time, you know time. <laughs> Suk, what are you doing? Guitar is kinda ready! And Zook, I know it. You guys talk big about music, but the only thing talk big about what? Uh, yeah, you need to speak up. The acoustics here isn't designed for speech clarity. <laughs> talk big about music, but the only thing you guys seem to be good for is breaking stuff. What's that? We're good at music stuff. Why? Thank you. No. Where did you get that? <laughs> I'll show you why they call me the Golden Menstrual of Vinyl City. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me! I've heard this a crack billion times. My Jesus, she just schooled by a kid. Whatever. She just has a giant ear for when the moment requires it. <laughs> anyway, this is my favorite fight. I feel like, whoops, like DJ Subatomic Supernova is the most like obvious. Compared to you, 
down. Close your eyes, listen to my voice, and show them your magnificent. Okay. Yeah, bam! She's gonna shoot at this kid, don't worry about it. I love this so much. I'm sure those puppet strings aren't symbolic or worrying at all. <laughs> Also, the, the rock version of this track rules. Yes, sir. Yes. Huh. I swear I'm good at parrying. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Leave this to me. Mama! Mama? How could you? How could you do this to her? It's my turn, Python. Get off her stage! Mochi's this normal fight thing. You're just... 
normal, normal parent things. Normal concert things too! Yeah, yeah! This just happens in concerts sometimes. I love this part, by the way, just the... Yeah, the piano hammers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Stay over here. Oh my gosh. Oh, nope, there we go. <laughs> Almost! This is fine.
<laughs> Man. This has a bunch of feelings about this fight. Constantly. Yeah. 69! Nice! <laughs> Big same. Also, uh, I might be quoting this wrong, but if I remember correctly, um, some of the devs during an interview brought up that uh, when Minu's mom like loses her her pupils, um, it's because uh -huh. she's lost sight of Yinu. Oh my gosh. I just feel like the two, because like I was saying, the DJ Subatomic Supernova and Tatiana might talk over me. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I think we might go. Yeah, we're back. We're back up. Okay, cool. But yeah, like, I think DJ Subatomic Supernova has the strongest, like, wow, I can really tell this is switching from EDM to rock, like, as you're going. Um, I feel like Yinu's fight has, A, an extremely strong concept in terms of how it's executed visually. Mm -hmm. Um and and B is the one where I feel the most like you're fighting to the music specifically. Um, as person who is not playing and just watching, like that's the one that that feels like the most strongly tied to the music to me. Um, I just I just care about it's like ooh. Uh, Mochi says, the thing I love a lot about Yinus is that, like, most of the tracks are already EDM and then become a different EDM genre or stronger EDM. But Yinus music isn't EDM until her mother comes in. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah! There she is. It's like, yeah, Yinu's mother is the one, like, adding that, like, harsh beat to it, which is uh -huh. really cool. Um... Bam! Get ready to jam here at Zam FM, Vinyl City. With us are some special guests who are no strangers to Zam FM. It's a pleasure of mine to welcome Bunk Bed Junction! Hello, people! Uh, what's up, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so amazing, Zook! We'll be taking calls from your fans and have you answer some of their questions. Are you ready? Wow, uh, interesting. Ready, let's go! And we have our first caller. Hello there! Hello? Hi! Hey there! Oh my, I'm really talking to Mayday and Zook! Indeed! <laughs> and you are? Oh, I forgot how... I'm Jenny. Um, so, uh, I was wondering, is there like a, a leader from Bangbit Junction? Uh, who runs the band? Well... In a way Oops. I'd say it's May. In a sense that she does most of the running, and I do the running after her. <laughs> Hmm, I'd say I'm more of a by-the-book kind of guy, while May's great at rocking to things by her own intuition and experience. But that doesn't really put a damper on what we want to do as a band. I agree. Music shouldn't be bound to any rules. Although, I am still pissed that Zook is using NSR drumsticks. <laughs> They're good, okay? Even so, they're from the very tyrannical company we're trying to take down. Listen, if you want me to perform my best, then I need to use the best tools, okay? And it just so happens that NSR makes the best sticks. End of story. Ugh. You <laughs> seem to have a very clear stand when it comes to brand loyalties, Mayday. So inspiring. I don't like it, but if Zook works best with NSR drumsticks, then let him have his dopey sticks. I still think that it goes against our very agenda, but it's a small matter for now. Glad you can see it that way, mate. I was afraid I'd lose my drumsticks at some point. Now there's an idea. Hey, 
Okay, I guess we'll leave you two with that. That's all the time we have today, folks. Ah, uh, so sorry. Goodbye, my Dini Zook. It was nice talking to you too. Thank you, Jenny. The pleasure's ours. Thanks for your time, Mady and Zook. Hoping to have you two here again soon. Yeah, we had a question uh, for people who weren't here for the first one. Basically, the whole um, city is the whole city is powered by electricity generated from music, and NSR runs that. Um, and uh, Mayday and Zook were trying out to be one of the bands that powers the city, and they did a great job. Um, but the leader, Tatiana of NSR, was basically like, Ah, oh, no, we don't accept rock. Rock, uh, we don't, rock isn't what we want for this city. Only EDM. EDM is what's in right now. EDM is order, and order is what we want for this city. So no rock, bye! And Mayday was horrified. Um, Mayday is horrified that Rock is being discriminated against. Zook is more horrified that, on, that there's been a power outage and power is only going to the NSR's bands. Um, so that's what he's like, I'm in it to change the system. And Mayday is like, for the power of Rock, we should be allowed to rock and roll. Um, I love them dearly. <laughs> Oh, these are all the ones you don't have yet. I'm guessing so. they're so. fuzzy. Oh. And we're back. That's a huge pile of notes. What have you got for us, Cliff? This next one might involve a lot of legwork. Introducing the spiffiest boy band around the city right now. 10 10. This guy's helping oh, us. I've seen them. They're very shiny. <laughs> and they look quite handsome. I mean, they look quite inhuman. 10 10 is NSR's robotic boy band, complete with the look, style, and the moves. The size of their fan base is simply astounding. Security for them is tight. I'd imagine. Yeah, but don't fret. They're on a city tour right now, and I found a certain spot where your paths could meet. <laughs> Sorry, a line of hands of robots claiming to be a boy band. Flying <laughs> limousine in no time. Holy moly! We get to ride in their limo too? Sweet! May. What? <laughs> Good luck, you two. <laughs> oh, time to feed. Yes. Oh, four hearts. Thank goodness. <laughs> Moji says, I love how the info just casually drops. Oh, by the way, Neon J is a war vet. <laughs> We're not even going to bring him up in dialogue. It's fine. Also, for people who weren't here for the first episode, um, uh, our current guitar case is art by Boo. Yes. Um, oh, there he is again. A... Oh, well. I will be doing, I'm, I'm going to see about uh, on Wednesday doing the DK West fights. Um, Sweet. So that we can have them recorded as well. Uh, but they're very difficult, and I'm very bad at them, so we're going to skip them for now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Um. But, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, there was, it wasn't, it wasn't actually a contest, I think. Yeah, felt, no, it was, Everybody it was... got in, it was just a fan art submission, and if you submit fan art and it fits all the requirements, then it would show up in the game as a mm. possible, uh, cover that you could get for your guitar case. Um, so that was, that was, a uh, booze entry. Yeah, I drew I drew Ellie. It's very important. <laughs> which is which is great because it means it was available like really early on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that was something that I had to ask them because uh, I my original plan was to draw something from the end game, um, and I was like, is it okay for me to to draw something that is spoilery? Um, they're like, yeah, it's fine, we're just going to place it. Like, all of them will be placed in such a way that, um, uh, they, they wouldn't be spoiled. Spoilers. So, um, but then I decided to, to draw Lee instead. <laughs> anyway. Uh... A unicorn. a unicorn! How adorable! Hello there! Zook, look! Isn't it just precious? Uh, a unicorn? But they don't exist. They do now! <laughs> uh, that unicorn has some moves. Unicorn, looking as brilliant as ever. You know, May, I really think weirdly a miss with this unicorn. <laughs> Don't believe they're real. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Y Looking as brilliant. Okay. You know, May. You just still don't believe they're real. <laughs> Sorry, Nays weirdly got me. Anyways, that was the one that I needed to go see in this no, area. That's uh, really important. Um. Yeah, Zam had oh my goodness. Oh, you can just get the photographs? I thought they were a hard mode thing. Uh, I think... Like, they're all attached to different things, but I think they're unlockable just by, like, completing the game and then going to find the stuff. Um, oh, good. Um, okay. Yeah. I've gotten lost. <laughs> <laughs> Fix this drink machine, though. Oh, we'll follow the star. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's hijack a boy band concert. Oh, hey there! 
Mind helping me out for a bit? Could you play? Oh, we'd love to. If this is working fine. Made in a thanks. Here's something in return. <laughs> cool, thanks. Oh, hey. Wow. Hello, doctor. How are things lately? Very busy. I just helped out with some large scale damages over in Akasuka the other day. Wow. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> well done. What will we do without you? Keep up the good work. We'll not bother you any longer. <laughs> My she says I love that Tatiana just uses her TV channel to dunk on Bunk Bed Junction at this point. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, there you heard it. You heard it here. Uh oh, oh, we got some graffiti in town. Um, you you heard it from Tatiana, folks. Everyone likes EDM. Literally everyone. No one doesn't like EDM. So I know this is far more flashy than like the Switch version. Um, I think they turned tuned down the Switch version a lot. Um, well, I can't wait to see this in general. All right, approach time. Let's go. Also, this is the one that kept breaking for us on the Switch yeah. version, so it'll be exciting to not uh, drop through the floor and fall through the endless sky. Yeah. <laughs> My Jesus, this area lags even with the lower graphics. It's just so long, so much is happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure that was for a reason, but I loved Zook just waiting for the platform to move and just drumming on stuff. <laughs> what a good concept. Oh, uh, that happens because I have a thing that they will automatically uh, heal themselves while I'm not doing anything. Oh, that's great. Well, that's perfect. True, true uh, drummer vibes. That's my, like, whenever I'm doing a, like, band AU for something, that's my, uh, uh, which character is, is a drummer, is which one is going to be non-stop drumming on things, and, like, cannot be prevented from doing this. This is my criteria for that. Oh, it didn't occur to me, Emoji says I love these dang battleship limos. Yeah. So now I, I just like not pondered the idea that these are the limos because I just the approach exists outside of reality in my brain. That's you're so right. That's great.
Oh, finally something to hit. Oof. Woo. Scary. I don't want to fight those if I don't have to. <laughs> Ow. How dare. Oh, I see palm trees. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop moving. Stop it. I've heard this so many times because of that glitch. <laughs> oh, we're crashing your party. Hello, Ten Ten. Look, boys, our one true love is finally here. Let's be the ideal boyfriends and give her our utmost attention. What? Attention! Wait, why are we saluting again? We salute you for gracing us with your exotic beauty. Your lustrous hair, your beautiful gaze, even your lips, which form that radiant smile. Our breaths are stifled. Stifled, 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 stifled. <laughs> you think you can sway her heart that easily? She's not going to fall for those cheap compliments. You tell him, eh? Hey? Wow. You're just jelly that all these pretty boys are fawning over me. May. Did you hear what they said about my lips, though? <laughs> what have you done to our Ten Ten? <laughs> Haters gonna hate. When we show up, we get the sexy mission done. You better put on your tactical thermal goggles because we're gonna bring the heat! <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. And she says, I love that they're maximum boy band, but also so much military stuff. Yeah, big same. This is actually the most disappointing thing to me. Is that this, like, the voice of Neon J barking orders is not in the, like, OST. Nope, just ran into that one. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Good work. Oh, that was great. Whoa, what was that? I did not. Where? Oh. 
That's not the one I killed, but okay. Look, it was ambiguous. There's no use. They keep coming. We're better off chilling with these handsome robots and checking out their crib, and after that, we can have a jacuzzi party with them. And okay, that flying factory has got to go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Damn, oh, Jay, my beloved. <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm so bad at this. I I used to be good at this, I swear. Come here. Yeah, this is the part where we'd always fall through the the world. Actually don't need to hit them here. Just need to avoid their attacks. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think it's a good look for you guys. You should you All should right, go for point. it. I think we're done here. Neon J was like the thing that I knew about NSR. Like Neon J and Subatomic Supernova were the things that I knew about NSR before seeing NSR. <laughs> oh, they put in uh, guides now, so you can tell where he's actually gonna go with that attack. Oh. 
I like this little shuffle that he's doing. Me too. I like this, like, no reason for this war machine to, like, do this little dance. <laughs> Just... I think I love the idea that this is supposed to be some kind of war mech, and he's just made them all dance because he's in music now. So, he's using it for the war mech purpose, but it, it still dances. <laughs> There's only one way to end this. I don't know if I can do this, but okay! <laughs> Green light! Mindy says, I feel like everything dances in this world. <laughs> Thren says, this guy's taking his sexy robot duty seriously. Mindy says, I love the use my robot son does a pizza cutter attack. <laughs> here to finish you. I know you broke Enum's piano. <laughs> You're here for my factory, aren't you? Just do it then. Do it! What are you talking about? Just want to... Fine! Go ahead and break my troops. But know that you'll never break my spirit! <laughs> do robots get injured? How is he even coughing? I'm a cyborg! And the coughs? The blood that I spilled through my mouth? Mouth? I do it for <laughs> That's one of my favorite lines. Okay. We're just gonna head home now. Home? I remember what home was like. I dream of a day where the children can run innocently on the streets again. Their eyes glittering with jubilation. So I made a promise to myself, a promise to bring peace back to my people. And until that day comes, I vow to serve this city with my utmost dedication. Because that is who I am. I got soul. I am a soldier. Thanks. Oh, what have I become? I have changed so much. The things that I've done in the name of NSR, I would not wish it to my worst enemy when I... Hey! I'm talking to you two! Where are you going? Do you think what you're doing is right? What is it that you guys fight for? What is it that you guys want? Well, I don't mind a sign poster of Pen 10. May. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on! I have not reached the part about my deployment to the Asgard faction in 68. <laughs> It was an unforgiving journey to the ridges of Kuan. The chill was enough to brittle the spirit of any battle-hardened warrior. As I trudged through the mountains with only my compass <laughs> and the parachute on my back. Continues anyways. <laughs> the cutscene is ending, but Nadja is not done. Anyway, he's great. Anyway, yeah, 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 Mochi says, I have a lot of feelings about Neon J and 1010's Ten slow evolution from war robots to music robots. <laughs> Thread says he didn't authorize this cutscene to end! <laughs> yeah, Neon J is super played for laughs, but I also really love the idea of this soldier who was genuinely, like, fighting for, like, peace, and then when peace came, he threw 
all of himself into music and entertainment mm-hmm. and joy. I think that's really great. Um, Start with one quarter cup of water. Bring that to a boil and add the aromatic, <laughs> which consists of two cloves of garlic and two shallots peeled and cut into quarters. Some red pepper flakes, very essential, by the way, and six. <gasps> Can you please stop punching my TV? Why did you even punch it this time? Hey, look, I've already scrolled through all the channels and I couldn't find a single news about NSR. That chef had it coming. <laughs> Is that really the excuse you're going with? Yeah, I mean, what's up with her hair, man? Ugh. And she kind of looks like Tatiana's sister. Ugh, forget it. Let's go visit Ellie. Let's see if she's hungry. No. No. Just hanging out in the corner. Yeah, she's over over by the shadow of the pipe on the right. <laughs> Where? The ways, by the way. Um, uh huh. Very important for everyone to know. Um. No. 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 That one up. <laughs> I thought they were part of the sound effects. Oh, yes, there they are. <laughs> of course, we get to the least way part. It's really ominous with no music. Um, audio. I forget where I had everything. I think I think music should be a little higher than it is. Music needs to be down a little bit. Okay. Oh my goodness, what is this emote? Did you add this, Bill? Oh, yeah. Bam! Welcome back to another special segment here <laughs> on Sam FM. Get ready to jam because we have the increasingly raved after indie band Bong Bad Junction. And here's our call of the day. Hello there, do introduce yourself. Hi, Sam. Thanks for the chance to speak to Bong Bad Junction. Hello, Mayday and Suk. I'm Arnold. Hello, oh Arnold. So glad to be able to talk to you too. I remember tuning in some time back and you were talking about the meaning behind the band's name. Love that you two have a reason behind the things you do. And it got me wondering if there's a significance behind your gloves. Ah, you noticed. Told you someone would, Zook. You can tell Arnold about it, May, since it was your idea. So, Bunk Bed Junction is the two of us, always together and one. Like our bunk bed, we also share our outfits. Uh, not in the way that you might think. <laughs> we bought this suit a long time ago and split it! Zook took the top and I took the bottom. We then did the same thing with a pair of gloves. I had to cut the fingertips though, cause they were messing with my front hand. You two really are close, huh? to have a fight then? Or have you always been fine with Mendes decisions, you? <laughs> I do try to avoid arguing, but sometimes we still disagree. And then agree to disagree. Compromise, you know? What was the last thing you two compromised on? Well, I don't know if it's a compromise, but since Mayday broke my NSR drumsticks, <laughs> I had to glue them back together. You really broke his drumsticks? Yeah, but I guess I went a little too far. It was a waste of drumsticks. A good pair of drumsticks. I'm sorry. I was really frustrated then and I just... 
I'm sorry for snapping at you and snapping the sticks. <sighs> it's okay. They still work fine. I hope you'll never break my drumsticks again, though. NSR or otherwise. Cross my heart! <laughs> Look at you two! I'd love to sit here and listen to you both all day, but uh, you have somewhere to be, right? That's all for today. Thank you for calling in, Arnold. Not sorry well, about the TV time, thing, Final though. City. That's <laughs> justified. <laughs> then she says, I don't know what you mean, so you should wear May's outfit. It's cute. Hey, all right, Cliff, what you got for us? Yes! Those <laughs> some intense scribbles. I love her! A fine musician awaits. Oh, I've seen her videos. She seems very... loopy. Uh, that's Eve for you. Known to be the most eccentric artist of NSR. <laughs> Eve nobody says, it me! knows what goes on in her mind. Well, nobody but Zook, I reckon. Huh? Oh, he didn't tell you? Tell me what? Even I, we had some history together. What? They used <laughs> to be in a band. W -w -w what? And if anyone knows her best, it's probably Zook. She was your ex bandmate, Zook? Yeah, we didn't leave on good terms, though. Now that rules out the possibility of dropping by as a visitor, then. But don't worry, <laughs> I've got a plan. There's to be an exhibition at her gallery. She'll be there, so head over and I'll make sure the security system won't be a bother to you. And please, be careful. Eve is without a doubt the most dangerous artist NSR has to offer. There's a reason why Tatiana keeps her as the CEO's right-hand woman. Got it, Cliff. It's because she's gay. You ready, Zook? Um... <laughs> Zook. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Maeve says, oh my god, they were bandmates. Yeah, no, I love that it's, like, pretty obvious, I feel, that... Eve and Zook actually, like, had some kind of relationship, but they're not gonna touch that. It's- it's- no, they were bandmates. That's the- that's the thing. They were in a band together, they were bandmates. Oh my goodness, Max Ellie friendship! Well... Okay, bye! You can now access the Ellie pad. Which is, uh, quick travel. <laughs> I just love never explain! Never! It's never an explanation for why there's this little alligator. Is she your friend? Is she a pet? Why does she have a helicopter license? Mochi says she doesn't have a license. It's very punk of her. Okay, I mean, that tracks, I guess. <laughs> Alligators fly helicopters. I don't know what there is to understand here. It's very clear. <laughs> Just a passion for the skies, friend said. Can I unlock anything else? Guess I, I'm gonna hold on to them. Um... Uh, Moji says she needs to be able to fly so she can. Elevate you. <laughs> Thanks.
Well, they do have NSR brand on them. That's great. You know me, I've been meaning to ask, who's that? Him? Uh, Geeky, was it? Isn't he your friend? I thought he was your friend. <laughs> nice. Just let any old person into the into the secret hideout. It's fine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> DK West <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Yes! I love her! Sorry. A lot of feelings about Eve. No. Oh. He's got a little graffitied. Oh good! Oh, this is great! I love that! whatever this place is. They're so good at dancing, see? seems to like its job. <laughs> Anyways, I like how this this mention that the city's been like flooding. Um and it's getting worse every year and like you know <laughs> <coughs> just never goes into it further. Um I find that a very haunting corner though. Um <laughs> Howdy. Oi, this area's off limits. Whoa, take it easy there, kiddo. What's with the cape? It's a parachute, la, missy. One day, I'll join the Air Force and become a man of the sky. Air Force? Okay. Sorry to you burst your bubble, but Final City only has a Navy. <laughs> what a joke. There's a flying airship that goes around the city. If you look closely, it's actually a battleship. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I 
Oh my goodness. Is this a ride? Yeah. Oh, that's great. I'm really giving the people what they need. <laughs> you says man of the sky? Flying an helicopter? <laughs> This is another thing after seeing the like flooding thing that I appreciate a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you could go around and like check out a bunch of her art exhibits. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh. Uh, it looked a lot different. <laughs> Mochi well, says they're great because Duke, with his history with Eve and also his art and music degree, goes into all the meaning. And May is like, it's a triangle? <laughs> Excuse me, weird floating eyeball thing. Yeah, these blank now. <laughs> oh, good.
sir. You two again? Wow. pretty much like you've seen how these rooms have been kind of changing colors as we go i think in uh -huh. the switch version it pretty much stays the same like white and pink ah uh, okay so you remember like the hands throwing you but like yeah uh, everything one? else was like wow it's wild that i have zero memory of this Oh, wow, okay. I always forget to use this. blue juice cans for? I believe those are like- oh, this is so cool. I believe those are like, um, battery things, basically, so that it's like you're built- you're gathering little thingies of power so that you can power up things in the city. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the more stuff in the city you power up, the more fans you get, and having more fans is like, lets you unlock skill things. Yeah, these little guys. Which I do like that, like, basically you fixing things in the city gives you- is a way to get fans. Yeah. You can just beat up DJ Subatomic 50 times. <laughs> Wouldn't that imply that he's much smaller than a dwarf planet? <laughs> like, I'm not a I'm not a science man myself, but why? Hello, Zook. Hello? Eve? Where are you? Take a seat, Zook. Take a seat. Oh, right. Remember this chair? Or has it fled past the walls of your memories? 
Not that I would be surprised if it has. A chair by design is never made to hold such sentimental values. This chair was once yours, Zook, but you threw it away. Eve, I... Shh, 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 shh. All is fine. You are forgiven. Now, lay yourself upon this vessel and accept my gift. Feel the sands of time flow through your body as you once had. <clears throat> yeah, uh, seems like the chair is pretty occupied with Tatiana right now. She embraces me for who I am. I love her, but a chair without a sitter is left with no purpose to exist. Hey, Zook, you can see her? Where is she? She's right there. Where? Just as I thought, you share none of Zook's artistic perception. Girl, do you not see Tatiana holding the backrest to her bosoms? Hello? Do you not get what it is meant to represent? Uh, no. Ah! Zook! Why must you pick such a pedestrian girl? You... Zook, remember college? Remember when I was the tectonic plates and you were the sea? The heat we channeled when your waves broke upon my earth was euphoric. We were untouchable. Do you not miss those times? Do you not yearn for that feeling again? Instead, you left me for this... this girl? Have you dropped your standards? Hey! That is sad. So... So sad. But you are here now. You are in front of me. We can save each other as today we celebrate your redemption, Zook. So open your mind, sink into my gaze, and let yourself be reborn again! I love her. <laughs> what Jesus <laughs> Time signature. She is fire. Fire and sea do not mix. Hey, the name's Mayday, okay? Also, like, do you love her weird hands and eyes theme? It's very good. Get closer. <laughs> I feel an immense energy between you and pedestrian girl. She does not deserve this. She does not deserve any of this. If I cannot have you, Zook, then neither can she. Ah! You're so cool. Whoa, what's going on here? Zook, where are you? I'm still here, May. Don't panic. She's done this before. We just need to keep playing as we were. <laughs> what happened to you, Zook? We used to birth countless worlds together. Remember, Rapturica? <laughs> How could I forget? You set my hair on fire. Are you upset about that? This to me. There's I don't know what I'm supposed to do. 
I mean, you seem to be doing pretty well. <laughs> Princess wants a little hair burned compared to the aesthetic! <laughs> Oh, she's still over here. Anyways, just while we're at this little middle part... Uh... Oh, well, I guess you can't see it now. Is like, how, um... More chaotic the one side is to the other. Yeah. How can your links be ever so strong? Unless... Unless the two of you formed your bond through mutual hate? Your hatred for me? I... Ah! What? You are one of them, Zook! You fear me! <laughs> As you should, for no one escapes the Diva's realm! This level of brilliance all by yourself? Ha! I made you! And the greatest thing you ever accomplished in your life was to get me to notice you! else are just intimidated by my talent. All of you are cowards! Always... <sighs> there is no one. Not even him. None in this world to weave their senses with mine. I should go talk to her. <sighs> go. Everything is nothing. Why should I continue to entertain this void? Eve? So much to do, yet 
nowhere to go. I do not belong here. Eve, please! The stars, they are so beautiful. I will close my eyes now. Goodbye. Eve, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be the person you wanted me to be. When we first met, you immediately saw potential in me. I gave you hope that perhaps I could eventually see the world as you did. But I'm not like you. I wish I was, but I'm not. But if we just try again... Eve, please. I was a coward for running away. I know that now. But seeing you today reminded me of how alive you can truly be when you're performing your craft. I know how terrifying it must be to face the possibility that you might never meet another like-minded person in this world. But you're better than that. You don't need anybody else to complete you. You complete yourself. It is not comfortable to hear this. I do not think I am strong enough to... You have always been stronger than me. If anyone can do it, it's you, Nadia. Well, I have to go now. Take care. Mayday is not pedestrian, by the way. If you know her as I do, I think you'll like her too. Thanks, buddy. Anyway, just cries about you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> uh, I just have a lot of feelings about how they took, like, this very... Like, you see her and immediately know what her archetype is. Like, mm -hmm. okay, this is the, like, Lady Gaga character who's just this weird diva, no one knows what's in her head. And, like, they actually gave her this really human motivation of, yeah, she is! She has this incredibly creative insight, and nobody else can relate to her. Um, I, like, shared the, like, cutscenes associated with Eve with a friend. Um, are we gonna get an interruption? Is Tatiana gonna talk over me? I'm not sure. I feel okay. like there is a bit coming up, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Rock rules! Yeah! We're yep, doing we're great. Good. Okay. But no, so I showed the cutscenes to a friend and they were like, oh, that's really cool. They're like, she doesn't need a, a romantic partner to complete her. And I'm like, that's not really what I took away from that. Like, it's something a lot deeper of like, somebody who understands how I think is what mm -hmm. she's looking for, I feel like. And yeah, she does want it to be romantic with Zook, but like, what she's looking for is somebody that she can collaborate with who gets it? Uh -huh. Um... Gosh, I just have a lot of feelings about her. Um... I also, um... So, like... Uh, we're not going to have time to go through all the stuff for her, uh, but like, through the extras you can find, you can find out that like the thing that they were talking about during the fight where she lit Zook's hair on fire is like something where she didn't seriously think that Zook was in danger but he thought he was um, mm -hmm. and then after 
after that fight, you get a thing that, like, a power that Zook can use that's, like, hair on fire style. <laughs> uh, and I just like to think that maybe they kind of got to talk about it more and, like, Zook found out that, yeah, it actually wasn't dangerous to his hair. And now that's how he mm. knows how to use it. Um, yeah, yeah. That's that's a headcanon I have, but also the extra videos for Eve messed me up. Because <laughs> um, it's basically oh hello. And Sam FM. Back here with us are the spectacular duo of Bunk Bed Junction. Two who need no further introductions: Mayday and Zook. Hello, Vinyl City. Without further ado, let's have the first caller. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mayday. <gasps> Isn't that... <laughs> you! Tatiana! Ah, so you recognize my voice. You... You've been listening all this while? But of course, you didn't think I'd miss out on the latest news of my favorite donor, did you? So you've been spying on us? <laughs> mm, I would say I'm merely keeping up with Vinyl City's hot indie door. <laughs> but it's good that you called. <laughs> know that we're coming to take you down. It's over for no straight roads. How optimistic of you to say so. You've barely reached the NSR Tower. However... Thank you for the heads up. I'll be waiting. And that was Tatiana, folks. <laughs> so, Mayday and Zook, considering your next showdown to be with Tatiana, how do you feel about making it so far? Any regrets? We're pumped. Let's go. It's certainly been a long journey, and I'm only pumped to finish this off properly. We're gonna rock onwards with all that we've got. No looking back. What's done is done. We can only make a difference by our next actions. We definitely look forward to that. Since you'll be battling the big boss herself, in the case that, touch wood, you don't make it out, uh, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? <laughs> in case you die. <laughs> make it out with a blast. But I'd like to thank everyone for being with us so far. It's been great to know that we're not alone in our battle. We love you! And remember, music is your right. Even if we're, uh, uh no longer around, your right <laughs> is still yours. Don't let it be taken without a fight. Well said. And it saddens me to say that it seems like time's up for today. All the best, Bunk Bed Junction. We certainly hope to have you back at Sam FM to bam and slam in the future. Don't worry, we'll be back. Would definitely <laughs> be she... nice to be back. <laughs> Mochi says, hard not to recognize your voice. You're saying PSAs like everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Tatiana's voice a lot. I think it's great. I know it's because, like, the actual studio that made this game is not, an, like, English-speaking primarily, but I just really adore that, like, 80% of the cast has accent. <laughs> yeah, uh, the studio is from Malaysia and has mm. just really been, like, we are going to leave our our country and our culture and everything in this game. Um, yeah, yeah! You've both made it so far. I knew it from the start. I'm proud of what you've done. Bunk Bed Junction has the power to return the rights of Vinyl City's artists to them. Right. Just a bit more to go. Only one more to go, in fact. The last pillar of NSR. Tatiana. Easy peasy. She doesn't even play music. That 
does seem to be the general impression. <laughs> but she does, in her own way. Huh? What do you mean? You'll know when you face her head on. Aren't you supposed to be our information Under guy? Tatiana may shouldn't, seem shouldn't you give us some information? Glance, but I happen to know her greatest weakness. Her past. If you come across fragments of her memories, I would suggest using them against her. That's the only way you can beat her. Use her own past against her? Yes. Yes, you get it. You'll do well. It all comes down to this, fellas. Beat Tatiana, and victory is ours. This is a normal oh, thing to say when you're, like, this going into a showdown. Fire. Thought you should know that we are close to bringing down NSR. I wish you were here with us now. I wish you could see that some of us still care about your legacy. <clears throat> I'll be heading out first. See you guys at the NSR Tower. All right, bye, Cliff. We're bringing your music back. Long live rock, cool Fyra. Long live rock. <laughs> Thrensis, this guy seems really excited about her past haunting this lady. <laughs> I just feel like this is the normal thing to say. You're like, okay, this is going to be a tough battle. If you find any shards of this person's memories, use them against them. Yeah, I guess if I find shards of memories lying around, that might be what I do with them in a battle, I suppose. Thanks for the heads up! Well, that's never happened before, but if it happens to happen, we'll just keep an eye out. Uh, I'm actually going to do something, um, because this is technically the final fight of the game. Uh, -huh. uh I am going to stick, uh, rehearsal passes. I think I just need to do one, actually. Yeah. Um, the rehearsal pass, do? uh, it, I believe it makes me not take damage, um, so I I'm not feeling super confident in my ability to beat Tatiana, um, oh, but okay. I would rather just have a straightforward uh, through the rest of the story instead of have to do her over and over again. Yeah, um, yeah. Since we're already running long. Yeah. Um, Sounds good. Well, I remember even when you showed me this the first time, Tatiana took several yeah like, attempts. Um. um the game, this game is really cool though for accessibility in which uh, if you're trying to beat any level and you fail it, um, it'll give you a choice to just restart from where you were at. And when you do that, uh, it takes away your like ranking, um, that score at the end, it gives you the absolute worst one you could have, but it lets you finish the, the game. Yeah, so instead um, of starting over, you can just go, no, 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 I know I died, I want to keep going, though. <laughs> um, anyway. There's nothing but Ooh. Tatiana. Ooh. <laughs> Tatiana, Tatiana. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Normal, normal thing to have in the square. Um. I do like this ominous nothing but the NSR logo. Eve says, I need that to be a thing in more games. Yeah, yeah! yeah. I do need you to know that every time we run run through uh, Akasuka, uh, Mochi puts Love, love, saw you beautiful in the chat! <laughs> um, yeah. 
200. What is it a is that a roller coaster? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> power of the roller coaster. Oh well, you'll have to come back later. Also, when she was yelling about time signature, do you know what time signature Eve's fight is? I'm just curious. If you're asking me, I have no idea. Oh, I was gonna ask Mochi, but yeah. yeah. It swaps! Oh, good! Many. I'm so glad. Oh, forgets I was saving those up for the roller coaster immediately. <laughs> uh... Switches between 3 4 and 4 4. That's great. That's perfect for her. I'm so glad. Leave this to me. I wanna go look at Eve's art now. Um, this is another reason I was like wanting to to put the access pass on because now I know that we can like beat it in a set amount of time versus uh it running too late um and we can go look at Eve's art it starts in three four and then when the base kicks in it swaps and then it goes back and forth You spelled the ball on the machine. Oh, hello. My code? Gorgeous, right? It's a limited edition release from a collaboration with Eve. Her designs are absolutely stunning. I love The Sims. She says, uh, one of the other things I like about Eve, her split color skin is like a skin condition, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, in the videos of her, like, there's like one of her in an art class, and you can see she's used makeup to cover up one half so that she'll look like she's one color. Um... Back in my days, we'd go all out for music. It's not a performance if it isn't the best performance. No errors and no regrets. Okay, cool, thanks. I have a lot of emotions about her dealing with that and that being incorporated into her art and style so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. Isn't Vinyl <laughs> City beautiful? That's it. Uh, okay. It's my turn, Python. People of Vinyl City, this is Tatiana. You've all been brainwashed by these so-called music revolutionists. 
All they've done is promote uncertainty among us, which has resulted in huge congestions in the junctions of progress. In other words, they've left us with nothing but chaos, and with chaos comes destruction. Look around you. See all the districts these rockers have invaded. And now, they're using you to start an uprising at NSO Tower in order to pressure me to step down. But I will not do so. Because despite the darkness that has enveloped this city, I still see hope. A hope for us to return to greatness. I believe that deep down, this is what we all want for our city. Thus, I stand before you to ask for one final request. You still have the power to rectify this anarchy, reinstate the NSR artists, and bring back true democracy. In the meantime, for the good of this city, I will hold my ground, and I urge you to trust in my judgment. Together, we will restore order. Order leads to progress in Vinyl City. That is all. Have a pleasant evening. Mochi says, fun fact, I think you have to do this entire elevator yes. again if you die. Oh, you okay, cool. Um, which is another mm -hmm. reason I was like, I don't want to, to do that. Um, also, <laughs> something I keep meaning to talk about, but then forgetting, and then we get interrupted, uh -huh, etc., uh -huh. is uh, back at the start of the game, Eve is the last one to hit the X. Yes. Before Tatiana. I have feelings about that, too. Um, she also does it in response to Zook, was yes, something that yes. I noticed. Zook says something, and then Eve hits the X. <laughs> uh, I think that's when Zook goes, uh, ta-da! Yeah, uh, yeah. Which I feel like is her being more offended that he has nothing to say at all, really. Mm -hmm. um, I can't believe someone like you two were able to be my artist. It's over, Tatiana. Step down from the throne. Never. The way you kids influenced the votes was deplorable. I don't give a frickin' cupcake about what you think. You have set a bad precedence for how the politics in the city will function from here on out, through chaos. Yeah? And what's so bad about that? Short-sighted as usual, I say. Because of you, any future opposing parties can just start a riot if things don't go their way. How are we to build a progressive city if it's in constant disorder? You started it. You banned us rockers from performing. I only restricted rock after you misbehaved at the audition. The fault is on you. That's... that's not fair. You tricked the people into voting for you by instigating their hatred towards us. Tell me if that's fair. They voted for us because your energy output is crappy. The people have had it with the blackouts. There you go again. So zealous about being able to supply more energy than us. Where in the world did you get that notion? From your rear end? Hey, we've beaten your artists. Surely that means something. It means you have no clue how this city works. You didn't compete with my artists on a level playing field. You merely set up a circus act by hijacking their concerts. It swayed public opinion, all right, but it was all flash. In truth, your music revolution agenda is nothing more than an act of impulse. Tell me, how do you intend to run the city if you win? What about the hundreds of NSR employees who will be thrown out of work? Have you considered the inevitable insurgents from the people who still genuinely love EDM? Can you really run the city under those circumstances? Well, I'm sure we'll figure something out after... Forget it! This is going nowhere. I'm just gonna finish you off right now. Whoa! Wait, what? I brought order and progress to the city. I had each district vote for their own charter. The quality of democracy has improved since, all thanks to my vision. I love her. You have no chance against me, for I have time on my side. There ain't no democracy if NSR only favors EDM! It's the people who favor EDM until you ruined everything. If chaos is She's what is so needed tall. done here, so be it! You failed to see how much this city has improved since NSR took over. Ah. Oh, 
definitely went. I forget how also, it was. Also, I just really like the cracked stone look of her face. Sorry. This is just me yelling about how cool Tatiana is for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Medicine. That's the key. Let's give her a taste of her own medicine. All right. How do you want me to do this again? So refreshing. Can you shoot it like you shoot the other oh, musical note? Oh, yeah. That's it. With the rapid expansion of the city, comes higher demand for energy. NSR has gathered the best EDM artists in the world. The city is oh so bright now. With the rapid expansion of the city, <laughs> high demand for energy, NSR has gathered the best EDM artists in the world. The city is oh so bright now. You two are getting on my nerves. It's been years and we still have blackouts. Because people like you distract us from fixing it. Rock can solve it, even if there are distractions. Never. Rock no longer belongs in any ambitious work. My NSR artists are the best of the best. Their music is in a league of their own. We have amassed countless adoring fans over the years. There are no better candidates to perform to the Grand Quas. No! No! Checking the concert was a cowardly act. If they're so great, then why do we defeat them so easily? Huh? How dare you show disrespect to its NSR's needs? I show respect to talent. Something which <laughs> none of you guys have. <laughs> Thren says, oh, okay, she's... I'm fired now! She <laughs> says, she angry. <laughs> Anyway, it did take me this long to put it together. <laughs> it's no longer relevant. The Gulags once commanded the city with their music, but we beat them with EDM. So shut up and let this city prosper. And so we are like, wow, Tatiana has like a lot of themes going on. She's got the time thing. She's got fire for some reason. Oh, um, hang on a second. <laughs> I'm supposed to Enough. Maybe just, just wait. chill, chill until she I comes down to hit you. Why do you hate Rock so much? There's no future in Rock. Rock is done. Finished. The only thing that is finished is you and your empire. 
I want to make sure they got through all their dialogue first. <laughs> Since, like, obviously I'm going through this a lot quicker if I don't have to dodge. Yeah, yeah. There's only one way to end this. Let's bring back the glory of rock! Red light! Green light! Yeah, the, the... Well, hold on. Just... Yeah. No! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! It's Cold Fire's guitar! Oh, the guitar was powering the crown? Hey! Hey! Why the heck do you have a guitar? Are you the reason Cool Fyra disappeared? This makes no sense. Why would she... Answer me! I swear you did anything to her! I can't believe you guys had this up to you. Why do you think I have Cool Fyra's guitar? Because you're her mom? No. Her best friend? No. Her babysitter? No, no, me. She's... I'm Cool Fyra. You nitwits! What? <laughs> what? No, seriously. What? It doesn't matter anyway. What's important now is for the city to. It matters to me, damn it! You're Cool Fyra? The Cool Fyra? How did you end up like. like this? Is it because the Ghoulings got disbanded? If there was one thing the Ghoulings taught me, was that a good leadership requires strength. I was too soft back then, always listening to my bandmates. Always welcoming their ideas. And what did that amount to? Nothing but utter chaos. Nobody could agree on anything. And that's the reason why we disbanded. But that is all behind us. I've learned my lesson. And now I lead with order. And look how Vinyl City has flourished under my new rule. You hated Rock so much that you decided to fight back with EDM? I fought back with what is best for this city. You call having constant blackouts best? Your crappy EDM is barely keeping this city alive. Just let Rock do its thing and... Ah, oh, here we go again. With your noble Rock versus EDM agenda. Sing a different tune already, will ya? Rock is dead. Forever was and forever will be. How could you change so much? You were my idol. I worshipped you. I did this, all this, in your name! Ugh. One, I didn't ask for your admiration. Two, take responsibility for your own stupid actions. And three, never have heroes, honey. Believe me, you'll have fewer disappointments. I oh, love her. You think you're so <laughs> yeah. cool with your bullet points? I'm just... Ah, you know what? I'm done. I'll let the results do the talking. Zook! On it. How much was your output again? 47%? Ah, gonna be easy to beat that derpy amount. I'd like to see you try. Oh, we're gonna. And we'll make you eat your words. I'll eat my whole dress if I have to. Fine, you... <sighs> dress munching moron! Fine. 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 Fine times infinity! Do you even know what you're saying? It's been a long day, okay? Sheesh. <laughs> well, Zook? It's, uh, still 47%. Ha! Wait, what? Oh, bravo. You sure showed me. Shall I go get the champagne? I don't get it, Zook. What did we do wrong? I have no idea, but the numbers don't lie. Whoa! You guys did it! That was smashing. Look at you kids now. The king and queen of Vinyl City. Tatiana's got nothing on you guys. 
<laughs> my, oh my. <laughs> Such a great way to lighten up an otherwise dull night, huh? Anyways, uh, <laughs> my theory of um, how like Mayday got in her head that um, uh, you know Rock produces more than EDM is because of that night at the tryouts. Uh huh. That they saw the TV afterwards, where it's like, oh, clearly you are you are putting out like way more than anything else and that was like kind of the start of the idea that she just held on to was like oh look we fully charged it that night um uh-huh i like that you got like one fan from that <laughs> <laughs> i love her anyway sorry just also i appreciate her uh i did not ask for this you, yeah, you decided this on your own? I did this for you! I sure didn't ask you to. <laughs> Tatiana, Tatiana, Tatiana. Cliff, great. Huh? You guys know each other? I told you before. You were perfect. Your rock was unstoppable. But you decided to go EDM. Well, take a good look around. <laughs> because EDM ain't got a place in this city. Not anymore. Rock rules, baby. Don't flatter yourself too much. We saw the readings. The energy output those two knuckleheads produced is the same as ours. Energy output? Energy output? Who cares about that? Hey, I care! Yeah, it's the reason we started this music revolution. It matters. <laughs> No, what truly matters is we get to see how wrong Miss Tatiana here really is. Eat dirt, you piece of plank. Do you finally understand how bad you treated me, Fyra? I used to be your biggest, number one fan. <laughs> I supported you through thick and thin. Everyone turned their backs on you when the ghoulings disbanded, but I stood with you. That's how much rock matters to me. That's how much you matter to me. And after we went through all that hardship, you simply gave up, took the easy way out. You abandoned rock. It was an insult to everything I believed in. You yanked my heart, crushed it, threw it away like a piece of rubbish. Did my loyalty mean nothing to you? Not even a little bit. Listen here, Cliff. I don't give a damn about you, understand? I owe you nothing. Warning. NSR satellite deorbiting sequence initiated. Inbound in 900 seconds. What did you do, Cliff? I was hoping to save this for a more meaningful day, but, uh, why delay the inevitable, huh? Cliff, what did you do? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. See that? I've set NSR's own satellite to plunge right into this tower. Huh? Uh, what? Cliff, you better call this off right now. Oh, so help me. Too late. The coordinates are locked in. I can't do anything, even if I wanted to. Warning. NSR satellite is re-entering the atmosphere. Oh, you should see the look on your face right now. Complete and utter hopelessness. Now, you know how I felt when you ditched me. <laughs> Princess, um. <laughs> oh, I love poetic justice. Come on, kids. Let's evacuate this filthy building. NSR is done for good. <laughs> Put Cliff in the periwigler. Nafe says, looks more like pissed off to me. Well, <laughs> this is wrong. What do you mean? This is exactly what we set off to do to end NSR's rule once and for all. Yeah, but we never agreed to obliterate its frickin' tower! Come on now. 
Have you forgotten your fans? They all want you to destroy NSR. Remember, if we completely remove NSR from this landscape, you will gain total control over Vinyl City. Total control? We're just repeating history. What did you say? We've become the very thing we stood against. We're doing exactly what NSR was doing. We're the new NSR. Wait, we're the new NSR? Holy crap, why didn't I see this sooner? Mayday, you're overthinking this man. Eradicating NSR is the right thing to do. Shut up, Cliff. I'm not listening to you anymore. We need to stop this satellite right now. Zook? Yeah? This is probably gonna be super dangerous, so I understand if you would rather... Save your breath. I'm going with you. All right. Now all we need is a plan of action. The only way to stop the satellite is to get my artists to reclaim back their districts. Then we'll have enough power to repel it. Got it. I need some time to ensure the safety of my personnel and evacuate them from this building. Can you two handle the districts first? You can count on us! You guys won't succeed. Your fans will make sure of it. <laughs> you broke my nose! Bye! Once you're done with the district, <laughs> and work this. your instruments, okay? I think I see where you're going with this. Good. Good luck then. I can't believe I can't <laughs> go to Got it! Mimson's wasted! <laughs> I really adore that Cliff has been. All of Cliff's tips have been in the in the little side now, and now he's just like texting us with "No, don't do it." <laughs> <laughs> Threat says she respectfully disagrees with her fist. <laughs> Thanks, Cliff. Also, all the NSR bots now have graffiti on them, which is why they're fighting us now. Princess <laughs> Toop's no longer welcome time to block. Yeah, yeah, we should just block that guy. Um... Not interact. <laughs> Anyways, I I appreciate so much about that scene in terms of like Mayday showing like in the scene prior you have Tatiana explaining know why everything went wrong of like listening to everyone and then no one could agree on anything and stuff and like Mayday immediately kind of doing the opposite of that and like mm -hmm. taking the initiative once things start uh, becoming chaos because you yeah. know that wasn't part of the plan um, on top of that is like uh, we know that uh, this entire time Tatiana has been listening to the radio show. Area secured. You're clear. Go, go, go. Um, which I tend to. Oh, there's a guitar over there. Um. <laughs> which I tend to think is like uh of her listening to this and hearing them both argue and mm. find compromises. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh 
Also, I just really appreciate how as soon as, like, Mayday realizes everything, she immediately trusts in Tatiana to give a plan. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Alright, you have, you have leadership experience, what's our plan? Um, and <laughs> like, Tatiana is only using you, says Guy, who is only using you. Um... And also that, like, Tatiana's request was like, hey, undo everything you've done. And yeah. there wasn't even any hesitation. Yes. Not like, wait a second. It's like, okay, got it. On it. Well, I also, this was something that I really loved the first time. Thank you, Bombay Junction. I love you, Yenu. Anyway. Uh, that I, I really liked the first time that you showed me this game, because when Cliff, the very first, like, vinyl that you put down, Cliff says, put this here, and you'll have total control mm -hmm. of blah blah blah, and I, in my brain, went, total control? That sounds sinister. And just accept it as like, okay, it's a video game, I guess this is the video game thing we've been given to do. Like, alright, mm -hmm. Rock is gonna take over. That seems a little weird, but I'll go with it. And then it's like, no, no, it was a little weird! Uh <laughs> I also like how, uh, like, I feel like there's a lot of times you can tell that there's something slightly off, but it's just a perfect enough formula for them to not truly like realize yeah. um for example like the 10 10 ending sequence is like i feel like if neon j was a little less silly then they mm -hmm. might have taken him more seriously yeah yeah he literally asks like what are you doing and why are you doing it but um, also like he had already kind of uh oh this one this cliff note is really good <laughs> He had kind of, uh, already, you know, blown them off before he came to his own realization. So I feel like mm -hmm. that's part of it, of like, oh, um, they, they've gone to the point where they're not listening to him when he finally hits the point that they should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah! Princess dot 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 Cliff notes. Uh, <laughs> wow, I am and he's the one who gives you tips. Alright, yeah. Mochi says I love the comparisons between May and Cliff's reactions of like they both have parasocial vibes. You plutonians are not so bad after all. Now go. Thank Power you. Grand Quasa. Thank you, DJ Sub. <laughs> um, both have parasocial vibes. Both were doing so much for Cool Wait, Fire and this note too. What they were doing. Oh. After the last one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I showed you my satellite. Please respond. <laughs> <laughs> Um, cool fire at, and she rejected what they were doing and didn't want it. But Cliff goes immediately plot her demise while May goes, Oh shit, I was doing that, huh? Uh, I don't want to do this, fellas, but you forced my hand. Damn it, we don't have time to deal with Cliff. You kids look like you could use a hand. Yes! <laughs> Quick, you two. Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 go!
Love everyone posing all cool. This is it! There's only one way to end this! Come on, guys! All together now! Bunga! Bunga! We appreciate the metronome thing that I didn't catch on to when we first did this. Tatiana also made her tower a giant robot. <laughs> I just need to appreciate Tatiana's like rock is dead, only brings disorder. Look but also me. I'm gonna make the it city's cheering for us again. Isn't that <laughs> so great? that my robot can do a rock symbol. Oh no, your guitar! Did did it break in the last battle? We don't deserve any hero's welcome. Not after all the things we've done. You guys did it! You two saved the NSR tower! How do you guys... Wait, aren't you enemies with NSR? What gives? We've changed. Catch you guys later. Hey, hold on now. This opens up to so many questions. Are you guys retiring? Are you buddies with NSR now? Who was piloting that helicopter? I'll get back to you on that. Thanks again! You think I'm just going to let you take off like that? Oh, hi Tatiana. Dig the new look. You could have taken the city for yourself, but instead you chose to save my enterprise. You have my deepest gratitude. No, it was nothing. Couldn't have done it without your help. Anyway, we'd better make a move first. Mayday. Everyone is here to celebrate you and Zook. Don't you think it's a little rude for you to simply leave? I've done these things a million times. Give the people a few words of encouragement. Sorry, guys. I've made a mistake. I may not like EDM, and that's okay. I'm glad you brought that up. I, too, am not free from my own wrongdoings, and I take full responsibility for my actions. Having said that, I intend to fix this misstep right here, right now. I have discussed with my artists, and we have agreed. Vinyl City deserves better than this. No organization should be given absolute power. Hence, we are going to rebuild NSR from the ground up. A new system where all artists are welcome to perform in our city. We shall celebrate equality for everyone. Equality and fairness for all. As a first step, I am pleased to personally offer you two a position in the new NSR party. It would mean a great deal to us if you could join our cause. What say you? Well, I, um... We can't. You can't? We're not ready yet. Not now. I wanted fame so much that I lost sight of why I played music in the first place. Mm-hmm. You're going to remain indie then. I don't know, but thanks so much for the offer. I'm honored, really. Despite what I did to you guys, you all are being really nice. You all are really nice, but I need to lay low for a while. This is a lot for me to process. I, I'm sorry.
Hey, Mayday. Catch. Huh? Take good care of her. Understand? I... I can't accept this. My love for Rock may have returned, but my performing days are behind me. Someone else needs to take that mantle. No, Tatiana. I, I can't. I don't deserve... Mayday. You are a performer. Where I have failed, I want you to go beyond. Carry on the journey for me. Long live rock. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> realistic reaction <laughs> yes that I possibly you know, imagine sometimes you need to take a step back and see that the stage doesn't just belong to you we're all in this together and the sooner we acknowledge that the quicker we can work towards a common goal everyone plays music for different reasons some do it for self-importance some do it to bond with their loved ones and some do it to understand their purpose in life the important thing to know is this. There are no wrong answers. If we give everyone the opportunity to play their own music, we can build a world where creativity has no boundaries. Well, I am happy to say that Vinyl City is steadily heading towards that direction. Never have I seen our lights shine so brightly. And it is all thanks to not just NSR alone, but to the performers, the fans, and everyone who resides in this magnificent city. Can't believe 108's in this game. So that too late, but... <laughs> I just remembered Mace here, so I had and to say to it. And to Zook, I thank you too. You showed me that being an artist is a wonderful privilege. <laughs> you troublemakers. Wherever you guys are, I hope you keep doing what you do best. Are you ready? Um, I have just a bunch of stuff to say about NSR, <laughs> but uh, things that I want to bring up is one that. Buckbeck Junction technically did what they said they would first set out to do, where they got NSR to open up to all sorts of people so and have can join the party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which party is used in in two ways this way because it's also a, a, a government party, which I really like. Um, I also have a lot of feelings about. Um, uh, Tatiana being like, you need to go beyond where I did before because I feel like um, Mayday already has gone beyond. This is kind of like picking off my earlier statements of like uh, Tatiana listening to the radio show and seeing Mayday reject uh, uh, Cliff's decisions um, and, you know, actually make decisions towards what she thinks is right and get people's help instead of just accepting anything that comes along. Um, mm. So I just, I feel like Tatiana has watched Mayday already do everything that she ever wanted to do, but go far and beyond. Um, I just have a lot of feelings about that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also like re-watching, like, this is my second time seeing MSR all the way through, and knowing that Tatiana was a rock legend, and doesn't hate rock, mm -hmm. she just thought that it caused problems. And if you, like, listen to every time that she's like, no, absolutely no rock, rock isn't what we want for the city, she never has a problem with rock music. She never yeah. says that rock music isn't good. It's just 
not the future, it's not what the people want, it's not right for our city. Like, all the reasons that she always gives are because she's, like, left with this impression that Rock is just gonna tear things apart. Um, Especially when technically it, like, tore her life apart first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um... Another thing I, I... This is, again, me trying to piece together the story um, more than say that this is canon, but my thought of what happened to kind of, like, create all this initial misunderstanding is that um, on the night that Mayday and Zoo uh, first performed, um, Cliff was doing something to the satellite launch, to prevent it from happening, <laughs> and that's what caused the like weird electrical readings and then the following blackout. Um, mm. Another thing I want to point it? out. Oh. DJ Subatomic Supernova does mention, like, in his intro, he's like, what? You guys can't even handle a satellite launch? Uh, um, so, yeah, something went weird. Um, another thing is. Uh, something that I noticed after playing this game. Um, is like, you know, the th- whole time they bring up, oh, the NSR artists get all of the energy when there's a blackout going on. Um, that actually makes sense in this world because yeah. electricity, like their power source, comes from music. So to make sure that, you know, the people who are doing the music to power the city have the energy enough to do the music makes sense that they would get the backup power. Um, yeah, yeah, their entertainment and parties are literally the city's source of power. Um, so I, I feel like uh, that's actually not as like terrible as it's made out at the front. It's just on top of everything mm-hmm. else, it really seems like a, a dick move. Um, after everything else they went through. Um, and then, yeah, just, that is how they start off with the combination of, like, you know, Tatiana getting this impression that they're causing all this chaos when it's Cliff, and, and them getting the impression of NSR is just, like, really dunking on the people, in which, like, both parties are wrong, but both parties are right as well um, yeah yeah this had like i'd started out ah, and, like because it's i don't as... look 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 they're playing together <laughs> yeah. i forgot that they added like more stuff oh because it's all the this is all the artists oh corrupt <laughs> yeah um there i, I am there's oh. me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a whole writer. But yeah, yeah. Well, because no, it's like this. This game starts out kind of pitching itself as you know, you're an indie rock band trying to take down you know the tyrannical force of EDM, and it seems campy enough that you're like, if you're gonna play this game, you have to kind of accept that premise. Like, okay, cool, we're taking down EDM. All the EDM songs are also good though, so I feel like the people who made this don't hate EDM. But sure, we're gonna, uh, indie rock band taking down evil EDM corporation. Cool. Um, and then it's like, okay, you take total control. Now rock instead of EDM will rule. And you're like, that doesn't. That that seems like we're going a little off track. But okay, campy video game logic. I'll accept it. And then in the end, it actually has loads of nuance. Mm-hmm. Um, care a lot about this game. Um, yes, we yeah. love EDM too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broken drumsticks. Tape them up. <laughs>